Summer has officially arrived, yay, and that means people are looking to get smooth and clear skin for hitting the beach. If you're sick of shaving and looking for a new way to remove hair, Dr. Doris Day, dermatologist and author of Forget the Facelift, is here to tell us about a new laser that promises to be the new gold standard in hair removal. Dr. Day, thanks so much for coming back on the show. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about this duet, it's called. It sounds very exciting. Well, the Duet is a very exciting laser in that it takes a gold standard technology and has amplified it so not only is it more effective, but it's also much more fast. There's no pain, really no downtime, and you can do a whole leg or a whole back in as little as 10 to 15 minutes. And it's really quite remarkable because the way that this laser works is that there's no gel or um, other messy component that goes with it. You come in with the hair very short, so it should be shaved very close to the skin, and then you just march along the skin, and in no time the hair is gone. So it pulls the hair up into the device, then targets the pigment at the base of the follicle, so the pigment is what gives the hair its color. Right. You still need to have hair that has some color in it. It wouldn't be good for blonde hair or white hair, but for those with brown hair or black hair, even if you have color in your skin, so even if you're not the most fair skin type, it still works really amazingly. And and that's new, correct? Because I, I, it was my understanding that if you're dark skinned, you had a little more difficulty with the laser hair treatment, correct? Exactly. And the older lasers had an increased risk because the pigment color and the skin color, the closer they are, the harder it is for the laser to tell. But because of the technology that pulls the hair up into the device and stretches it, you really are reaching the pigment at the base of the follicle and safely missing the surrounding skin so your risks are much much lower the speed of the treatment is much faster and you get the results in fewer treatments so whereas before it would take six to eight visits to try to get this done at one month intervals now it's in as little as three to four oh, so it's nice. fast it's painless and it and it's permanent a big improvement what about the cost however is it more expensive than traditional laser actually the really great part is that because it's so fast and so efficient the cost has come down oh, great. so per treatment the cost is less and you need fewer treatments. So when you compare the costs over time between all your choices of hair removal, it ends up being much, much more co cost effective than it was. And part of the reason why I recommend these treatments is that people do have so many issues with hair removal from so many other sources sure. and also just having um, problems around the hair follicles anyway. So when you eliminate the follicle, especially when it's permanent, you eliminate all the problems that go along with that. So can you use the Duet all over your body, even on your face? Yes, the Duet can be used anywhere on the body. So it's using a light sheer diode, which is the gold standard mm -hmm energy technology and then it's improved on that by using the advances that we have and our understanding of laser hair removal to actually make it go faster and with a lot less mess because there's no gel or anything that goes with it. But the duet is still something that you have to do in a doctor's office. This is a critical point. You know, I, I talk about how safe these treatments are, but they are medical treatments. This is a form of laser surgery and it has to be done by a physician or under the direct supervision of by the physician, by a physician's assistant. So these are medical treatments, these are not spa treatments, mm -hmm. and there are risks to everything. Sure. So they do have to be done properly. But they are more efficient than these sort of over-the-counter laser treatments that you can buy now. Right, there are at-home lasers. So there is a version of the light shear diode that you can do at home called the TRIA. And that's a fine device, but it's obviously a lot lower energy mm -hmm. and it's a lot slower. So I often recommend those for people who are sort of finished with their laser treatments and just have either small areas or just for touch-up for any straggler hairs left behind. But it's two completely different things. I'm not, I think those are fine, but they are a whole not different energy level. Right, not as efficient. All right, let's talk a little bit about other forms of hair removal. If you can't get the laser treatment done, a lot of people like to shave. Do you have any tips on how to do that properly? Well, the best time to shave is towards the end of the shower when your skin is most soft and fine. Never dry shave. So if you're in a hurry and you think you just oh, drag a razor and you go, no, not good for your skin. It doesn't like it. So always shave towards the end of the shower when your skin is moist and hydrated use a sharp razor if you have one dull spot on a razor that but dull spot is going to pass over every part of your skin and that's going to create nicks and burns and irritation. So use a sharp razor, invest in a new one if you have any doubts. Always use a shaving gel or shaving cream and not just soap and water. It makes a difference. It softens and hydrates the skin and the hair and that will make it go more smoothly. So you want as few passes as possible over any given area. Never shave right before a pedicure because when you put your foot in the water, 
if there's any bacteria growing in that water and you have breaks in the skin from shaving, that can cause an infection. Ouch. So always shave yeah. after a pedicure, not a few days before. And what about other hair removal systems? What else do you recommend? Well, there is also waxing. So waxing is out there, but I've noticed that people who wax regularly do have more ingrown hairs. Mm. So that can be a problem. And then the other thing is, I don't know how people stand it in the summer because you have to have the hair long. So when you do laser, you, you shave the hair really short before the treatment, but with waxing, it's the opposite. You want to have the hair long, and who has time to grow right. the hair in the summer? And who so it's wants not fun. to let their exactly. hair grow that long yeah. before and they And then get it, it can also create burns in the skin, so that's a problem as well. And what about creams, hair removal creams? The depilatories are okay, but I think on very coarse hair, it can be difficult to really mm. get rid of the hair enough, and plus they don't smell very good a lot of time. And then you have to be very careful because I've seen chemical burns from that, so okay. leave it on only as long as it says. All right, so it sounds like do laser if you can, if not shaving is probably the best way And to you'd go. be amazed how the costs really don't come out so different. All right, Dr. Doris Day, thank you so much. And for more wellness tips, be sure to check out the health page on abcnews.com.